Welcome back to Porsche Top 5. Today, we'll dig deep into the secret chambers of Porsche history and present to you five prototypes that paved the way for famous Porsche models. May I present to you our top five. Between 1984 and 1987, Porsche engineers worked on a concept car for a futuristic vehicle concept, a compact, lightweight, and aerodynamic roadster. The Porsche 984. The main goal of the sports car study was to achieve dynamic driving characteristics through low driving resistances instead of high engine power. Nevertheless, the 984 never made it into production series. From a real lightweight to one of the biggest sports cars, the Porsche Cayenne Cabrio study from 2002. Based on the Cayenne, this combination of an SUV and a Cabriolet somehow was ahead of its time. Nearly 15 years later, SUV Cabriolets can be found in all sorts of variations. But back then, the Cayenne Cabrio had another distinctive design feature, the Targa roll bar, definitely a stylistic highlight. Looking at the back of this concept, it's impossible to overlook the two different rears. Instead of building two prototypes to show different rear designs, the designers put two on one car. Swabian mentality, maybe. Number three is the 911 Speedster Club Sport from 1987. This study is obviously an open single-seater that upholds the philosophy of Porsche's Speedster from the 1950s. No frills, but geared towards pure driving experience. They replaced the windscreen and all other windows and put just one small deflector in front of the driver. The plastic covering for the cockpit is also evocative of the racing Porsche 550 Spider back in the 50s. The concept with the 911 Carrera body is the predecessor to a highly coveted, rare version of the 911 Carrera Speedster. Our number two is the Porsche Panamericana from 1989, which was a present for the 80th birthday of Ferry Porsche. The whole development process of the study with the euphonic name Panamericana was completed in just a few months. One of the most distinctive design features is the seamless layout of lines. There is nearly no interruption when you follow them. The roof can be easily unzipped and stored in the trunk. Speaking of the roof, the roof's design strongly influenced the development of the Targa. Here is our number one Porsche prototype, the 918 Spider prototype rolling chassis. In 2011, after the concept car of the 918 Spider had made headlines worldwide, this rolling chassis was built and shown to a few invited journalists in early 2012. On the test track in Weissach, the journalists got a first impression of how the plug-in hybrid technology works. A proof of concept for the world. Nevertheless, this rolling chassis may look a bit unfinished, but still managed to pave the way for the legendary 918 Spider. From the secret chambers of our R&D department, right into some of the great ideas of interior design. Next week, we'll have a close look on some of the fanciest interior patterns. See you then.